Indonesia voted in favor for the resolution because we believe upholding the principle of the UN Charter and international law. I thank the distinguished representative of South Sudan. Now I give the floor to the distinguished representative of Indonesia. Mr. President, one year after the war began in Ukraine, we are no closer to peace. Death, suffering, and destruction continues to mount. The impact of the war has gone beyond the borders of the country in conflict. Indonesia voted in favor for the resolution because we believe upholding the principle of the UN Charter and international law, including peaceful resolution of dispute, respect for human rights, and the rule of law are fundamental to resolve the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Despite this, we deeply regret that critical elements which we constructively suggested in the drafting process are missing in the final draft. In this regard, we believe the resolution adopted today may not have achieved the intended goal, which is to help bring the countries at war closer to peace. The resolution is missing the spirit to realizing peace in Ukraine. Nor does the resolution call on the international community to create conditions conducive to ending the war. Most notably, the resolution is missing the call for the two parties in conflict to pursue dialogue, diplomatic means, and enter into direct peace negotiation. Ultimately, the two parties themselves are the ones that can and must prevent further downward spiral and end the war. We are also concerned that the resolution failed to avoid a zero-sum game approach to resolving the underlying problem. As such, such approach will only deepen the divide between the conflicting parties. Mr. President, the General Assembly is the most inclusive organ of the United Nations. Its resolution reflects the collective voice and statement of 193 members of the United Nations. It is therefore fundamental that its resolution be factually correct, accurate, inclusive, and balanced. GA resolutions are not social media content. The credibility of our August institution is put on the line if resolution put forward by the GA spins factual information. The resolution adopted today was leaning very close towards this direction. Mr. President, we must continue to work towards a world where aggression and violence have no place and where the principles of international law and human rights are respected. We must not apply double standards in addressing situations of conflicts in all parts of the world, whether that is the war in Ukraine, in Palestine, or any other part of the world. Indonesia stands ready to support all efforts towards peace and stability, and we call on the international community to do so. I thank you, Mr. President. I thank the distinguished representative of Indonesia. Now I Terima kasih sudah nonton. Jangan lupa like, subscribe, dan share ya!